to see, they want to see grit. They want to see what makes it good, Anthony Joshua. That's what people want to see. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? They want to see you like go through a crisis, come that back. A bit early as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. A little so, bit. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Phil Lindsay here with Pete Magazine. We're here at the gate in Newcastle. We're here with the brains of the family, Jimmy Ward, the man who doesn't take punches for a living. No, and um, in the background, we've got Tommy Ward, who's fighting Sean Davis on Saturday. Sean Davis, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know much about the kid. Obviously, uh, seen a few, few clips of him on yeah. YouTube, and uh, obviously, there's limited footage, though, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I believe he was a little bit like Tommy when yeah. um, a couple of years back. Uh, not much footage about Tommy. Uh, a few years ago. Apart from the Pete Magazine coverage. Apart from yeah. the Pete Magazine coverage, yeah, yeah, 100% <laughs> right, yeah. So, a uh, little bit of unknown quantity, but um, seeing him when, when he fought FI and, you know, I think FI had his number. Yeah. Um, no disrespect to anyone, I believe Tommy's a better fighter than uh, FI. Uh, I expect Tommy to do a good job uh, Saturday night, you know. So, obviously, you, do, you don't take the shots, but you, you live. You live the camps oh, yeah. with, with, with with obviously with both your brothers. Definitely, yeah. Um, it's a throwaway question, but how has preparation gone for this one in comparison to previous fights? Well, Martin and Tommy um, always prepare a hundred percent. Do you know? Um, you always get um, little niggles in terms of like uh, when you're running with injuries. Like, you know, you never ever feel 100. percent You know, fighters can say I'm 100 percent and all that, and uh, you always are 100. Yeah. percent It's just it's in terms of oh my hands is a bit sore today and stuff. Preparation's gone as good as any other camp. Yeah. You know, uh, there's no stones ever been left unturned. Every time preparation's always the same. You know, you get you always push yourself that little bit harder every time training camp. But in terms of Doing your your diets, your runs, your sparring, everything's gone. Ticking every box. Yeah, you no, know, and you can't ask no more than that. So come fight night, it's all in the night. You know, as long as preparation's gone good, which it has done, yeah. it's all in the night. And you know, and as you know yourself, being in the boxing game, anything can happen fight night. It can. One punch can yeah. change it. But now going in there, obviously Tommy's had two stoppages. Yeah. Davis has had none. Yeah. So technically, it's probably one of those unusual things, at least on paper, yeah. where. Tommy might be the puncher in this one. Yeah, uh, I, I, I believe so. I think um, going off like records on paper in terms of stoppages and, and whatnot, I believe it all depends on your style of fighting. Yeah. You know, um, Tommy's always been a boxer. I believe Davis Master is. It, it, yeah. I believe Davis is a bit of a boxer himself. Yeah. Um, it's all right having ten fights, uh, ten knockouts when you're fighting um, less caliber of yeah. opposition and your style of fighting. If you want to go in, blitz them, put it on them from the ding ding round one and uh, get in his face, you're more likely to get a stoppage, but you're also more likely what to get hurt yourself. Though? What are yeah. you going to learn? Exactly. You're also more likely to get uh, yeah. something in return. Yeah. So sticking to your boxing doesn't necessarily mean you're, you're a non-puncher. So uh, taking into consideration that Tommy Mariano had two stoppages in the record and uh, Davis has gotten on, I still don't uh, buy into a, a light puncher or a big puncher. You know, yeah. it all depends on your style of fighting and what type of fight can happen on the night. Yeah. You know. That's why we're saying on paper. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm just giving my opinion on oh, no, uh, no, on records. <laughs> <laughs> now. Tommy signed with Box Nation. Was it earlier this year, wasn't it? it was That's right. It was yeah. before the the Jazza yeah, Dickens a fight. Yeah, before the Jazza fight, I, I believe. Yeah. And to a certain degree, on the national stage, yeah. the Dickens fight was his coming out party. Coming of age party. Yeah, yeah. Now, in terms of signing for Box Nation, obviously them now being partners with BT Sport. Have you seen it in every interview that I've done yeah so far? This is the best TV card of the year for me in oh. terms of depth, competitive fights. Definitely. Genuine and pick and fights. Of course, it's in the northeast as well. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, T Tommy saying with Box Nation at the time. Yeah. If this is the sort of level of shows that he's going to be fighting on, whether it's here or in Leeds or other parts of the country, it's when BT came in to join with Box Nation, it was like, oh, they are, they are going to make Sky have to raise their game now. We're like this, that's exactly what's happening. Well, I believe as well, uh, being part of BT Sport, see, where Box Nation is a boxing channel, yeah. BT Sport is a sports channel, yeah. So, when you've got boxing advertised on a sports channel, you start to influence the minds of football fans, yeah. Uh, rugby fans, or whatever sport BT might be showing at the time, yeah. you might have someone who only has a slight interest in boxing and has uh, a big interest in football, all of a sudden sees an advertisement for this kind of card and yeah. think, you know what, I'll tune into that. So 
it expands. And like you said, it's making rival promoters, rival TV, trying to up their game. Yeah. You know, and like you said just there, as in terms of competitive fights, you know, um, foot leather. Yeah. I mean, that's a great like the domestic derby. The main event is going to be uh, fireworks, guaranteed. you know. At, uh, the, the styles are yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, it's, it's guaranteed, you know. It's, um, it's a no-brainer. So, You've got the heavyweight fight as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Nathan Gorman, you know yeah. what I mean, who, who looks really exciting, really fast for um, a heavyweight, you know. Uh, yeah. I've only ever seen uh, TV footage of him on the pads and whatnot, but looks really good he prospect. like a middleweight, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, look really, really good prospect, you know. So, um, in terms of 50-50 fights, that's what fans want to see. You know, they don't want to see... They're, they're a champion get in and just blow them away you know what I mean yeah like how long can you keep on watching that you know before it gets boring well the, the, the pay per view called we had on Sky recently yeah a lot of people saying they weren't going to buy it I wasn't really but I, of course I bought it in the end yeah I, yeah, yeah well you do because you're a boxing fan I did I'm I don't a boxing stream, fan I don't stream I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've watched the stream once so when I was, I was working away and there was where I was working they didn't actually have anywhere where I could go and watch the fight it was yeah. the Groves Frotch 1 Right. And it was the only time I've ever, ever streamed because I didn't have any other option yeah, 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 and yeah. it just kept cutting out and everything and it's like exactly, yeah, it for does, sake you know, 20 for quid, sake 20 quid you know what I mean you don't want that there you know as boxing fans you want to be able to watch it you know I'm like it's that only adverts though I know sometimes I'll get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to watch a fight that's in Vegas or yeah. in America somewhere because I'm a boxing fan not just because I'm involved in it because of my brother and stuff you know I like to watch and I also love to see the North East do well you know, like I support the local fire riders, you know yourself. Yeah, yeah. Always see people shake people's hands and say hello. Why? Because it's nice, nice to see people. It's nice to see people do well, especially people you know. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, in terms of um, like BT and Box Nation, I think it's booming. I genuinely think it's booming. So when Tommy signed with Box Nation, the platform that he's got there now, and we know the skills he's got, and yeah. and he's not the finished article yet. He's still nah, what, uh, he's 23 now, isn't he? 23, 23, and as you say yourself, um, he's still development um, from a boy to a man, you know. So a couple of years time, uh, he might move up and wait. I don't know. It all depends on uh, if he fills out anymore or or whatnot, and um, to obviously depend on how fights go, things will open up. You, you just don't know, and. Uh, Someone at 23 doesn't have the mentality state, in my opinion, regardless of how good I think Tommy is, or yeah. anybody who thinks Tommy is, or any fighter at 23, is not going to be the same fighter he is when he's 27, yeah, I 28. Yeah, I was thinking you know, 27 before you said it. As, uh, as long as, uh, as you say, no injuries, doesn't take too many shots to the head and stuff, you know what I mean? So his mind's still sharp, yeah. you know, because you know yourself. Which is a habit. Yeah, good well, habits. If, you're, if you're a fighter and your style of fighting is to get in and get stuck in every fight, your career is short lived. Yeah. Whereas if you're a bit of a boxer, Mayweather's a prime you example. Or in the same way as well. Exactly, and uh, Mayweather's a prime example. The reason why he was at top for so long because he changed his game plan. If you watch him in the younger years, he used right. to come forward. He used to get the knockout. Pretty boy, yeah. Do you know, he used to be the exciting fight everybody wanted to watch. As he got older, he moved up in weight. He was fighting guys naturally heavier than him, naturally bigger guys. He had to change his style. Yeah. He had to go on the back foot. He had to box more. You know, so not just to get the win, but to get the longevity. Well, as well. of course, yeah. Do you know what I mean? To, to prolong his career. So. All going well. Any young fighter between, they say, we're using Tommy as an example because I'm his brother. Yeah, well, you know. So and he obviously he's fighting uh, the coming weekend. As long as everything goes well, Tommy sticks the the boxes that he is, keeps on getting the wins. I only believe things can only get better for him. You know, because he, he's he'll mature more as a man, not physically but also mentally. Yeah. Do you it's know not what just I mean? In the ring, but in life. Oh as well. yeah, of course. Yeah, you know what I mean. Life throws uh, curveballs at you all the time. That's how you deal with them. You know what Nobody I mean? Just That's your mental strength inside and outside the ring. You know what I mean? But so Saturday, no predictions on the fight, but I let's say it, it's, it's just the best card. Of, oh yeah, more. Not definitely. just this year. I, in terms of depth for the fights on this card, well, I, I think you. It's a game changer you, you for me. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully. Yeah, um, it's it's got to be up there in terms of you say like 50-50 bouts. You know, in terms of excitement. Yeah. People, that's what people want to see. People don't want to see, as I said, you know what I mean. Yeah, well, you know the winner before the fight happens. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where well, you get some fighters, they're like 50 to 1 against in the, in the bookies. You know, like... Uh, You're going to get the home fighters, especially as their careers are developing, fighting against guys who they are expected expect, to win. Expected to win, yeah, of and, course. And you expect those on the small hall shows yeah. to go through the development. When, when the guys are getting on the TV, yeah. these are the sort of fights that they should be having on because sometimes you get the guys, and I'm not knocking Sky in any way, but on, on the Sky shows, it's... Maybe Scott Quigg fighting against guys who are a weight below him and yeah. everything, and yeah. it's like they're selling the show on the headline names oh, instead yeah, of what yeah. the fights themselves. Well, you know yourself. Sometimes uh, people get excited about a headline name. Yeah. Um, for for talking sake, if it might be Anthony Joshua, it might be Scott Quigg, Carl Frampton, whoever it may be, 
a big name fighter, they get excited about the main event. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there's an undercard, and two lads maybe do a ten rounder or for an intercontinental belt or English title or whatever it might You've be. Area title yet? And it's a cracking fight. You know what I mean? They've gone toe to toe for. And you think, well, where's this come from? One might be a prospect, and one might be like you're supposed to blow him away. Yeah, yeah. Might not happen that way. You know what I mean? So, them's the fights people talk about more. They say, well, did you see the, the undercard? Did you see that fight that was on before the main event? Yeah. That's when you end up talking about, you know. Well, you had the not not Joshua's last fight, the one before. It was like, people were talking about actually getting the pay per view for the white Chisora fight because they knew it was going to be oh, spicy. They knew yeah, it was going to be. Yeah. You know, I, I believe the Chisora and, and White are very similar. I, I, Bring I, the best out of you each know, other as well. You know, I, I kind of class White now as a young Derek Chisora. Yeah, yeah. If you look at Derek Chisora, maybe seven, eight years ago, yeah, yeah, kind of reminds you of Adele and White now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's my opinion anyways, you know, and um, like you say yourself, styles make fights, you know, them two gelled perfectly. Yeah, and you know? hopefully they will again as well, but, yeah. uh, but anyway, Jimmy Ward. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful always pleasure as always. Yeah. I love this yeah. man. <laughs> always a pleasure, Phil. I'll see you at the press conference tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be at Graft, but you'll definitely see me on Friday. Great stuff, mate. <laughs> Top man. Jimmy Ward. <laughs> Top man. Cheers. Pete Magazine. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>